Oh, there you guys are. Greetings and salutations. I was looking for y'all. Titanium Tim, 18, here in beautiful DeLeon Springs, Florida. And it's a beautiful Sunday morning. And I know what you're saying to yourself, Tim, what is that boat behind you? You're a kayak guy. Well, you're right. I do like kayaking and I'm going to continue to kayak because I fish a whole lot of places that this boat wouldn't go. But I got this boat for a really, 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 really good deal. I can't tell you how much, but let's just say it was under a dollar. Anyway, it is a 1997 Wellcraft 160 Fisherman. That means it's 16 feet, one inch long. And in the back there, and it's a center console, and in the back there, I got a Johnson 90. Now, it's a two-stroke saltwater edition. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that boat, that motor will push this boat darn near 50 miles an hour. This is a quick setup, but I'm gonna go fishing with it, joy riding with it, go to the Glen with it, but I, it's gonna be an ongoing project, so I wanna include you guys in this project. Now, before we get started, I wanna know a name. You guys suggest a name for me. Now, keep it clean, be, be nice. Uh, I'll be going to the Glen. I'll take my granddaughter out in it, my grandson, my, my daughters. and So come up with a nice clean name and we'll see where it goes. So now I'd like to take a little tour of it, show you interesting quirks and features. And we would take it on a test drive, but I don't want to drive it until I get that motor checked out by an expert. It runs, but I want to make sure the oil injectors are working and everything's working. So without further ado, I'm going to come get you and we'll take a tour. Hang on. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you a tour of this little bad boy here. In the front, we got this little storage spot here. That's an anchor storage. Very good little spot, locks in place. Up here, I got a seat where a seat fishing seat goes, but I gotta fix that. I'll show you. Uh, this lifts up, huge storage up here with a drain hole. I could plug that and make out a fish cooler. But as you can see there, see all the spider cracks and stuff? What I'm gonna do is take this out. I'm gonna put a piece of plywood in here, nice big piece of plywood, and I'll glue it in here gingerly. And then I'm gonna put a new one on here with stainless steel hardware. That way I won't have that problem again. And it wobbles a little bit, I gotta, I gotta fix it. Yeah, it's loose, no problem, I can fix that. You come to the center console, there was a seat there, but I can put a cooler there to act as a seat, so it'd be good. I got a windscreen here. I gotta replace this windscreen. It's spider cracked, that's no big deal. Here we got a little bit of storage for a couple of tackle boxes or whatever, okay? Now over here, here it is. We got a access port because as you can see, this has a 25 gallon onboard tank. That's the vent for the tank. I'm gonna have to replace that because it's rusting pretty good. But this is the filler tank, and the tank is in the middle here under the center console. So we come around here, and I'm going to replace all these with stainless. And I'm going to get stainless uh, screws in here to fix these. You come up here, and it's real simple. You got your fuel gauge, your tachometer, and your, your lights for your engine. There's a depth finder. Doesn't work anymore. You got the shifter, steering wheel. Here's the horn, nav lights. I got the bilge pump, uh, live well, accessories. There's the key start over there. The battery goes under here. And I'm gonna extend that battery cable so I can pull the battery out without fighting with it. And the seat here in the center, as you can see, I gotta have this fixed. But the bottom seat's in good shape. And if you flip it up, what if I can flip it that way? Flip it up that way, and now it's a cooler or a lot, well, whatever you want to do with it. I got to clean it out, but it's in real good shape. Come back here, and on this side, and these are all I'm going to replace these. Got a rod holder on this side. Got storage over here. I got to clean that out. And that's the access. There's two bilge pumps down there. That's the water separator for the fuel. I got a new one to put on there. And here's the 90 with the power trim and tilt. So it, uh, it lifts up by itself, because I can't lift that dead gum heavy thing. Come over on this side. Here we got the oil tank for the oil injector. Got an oil in there and funnel and all that. 
this is where the nav light goes. I got to work something out because the one I got hits this corner inside here and that won't work. Now the rod holder, more of these that I got to replace. And these little nicks here, I'm going to replace that with that white gel coat stuff. I ordered a gel coat repair kit. I got one here, one here. As you can see, it's a little dirty on the inside, but it ain't too bad. Nothing that little TLC won't take care of. Got a fire extinguisher under there on this side. I got three rod holders. That's just a vent for it. And that's pretty much it. There's not much to it. Pretty simple. I'll tell you this, my truck pulls it real well. It pulls it without a bit of trouble. I really, really pull it good. Ugh. All right, so that's pretty much it. Got the wheelie to get it up off of that. I'm gonna store it at my buddy's Ray's house for a, a month and then I'm gonna put it in the water. So I'm gonna get to cleaning up on it and I'll show you when I'm done. So stick around.